The Netherlands, the low-lying countries in Europe challenged by water. Being situated in the delta of the Rhine and Meuse rivers, and having had a history of confrontations with the sea, the rivers and extreme rainfall have made the Dutch the water managers of the world. Dikes form the backbone of safety against water. One of the key elements in maintaining this safety is visual inspection of these dikes. This is the core business of 7,000 professionals who are involved in water and water safety management. The total length of the dike system in the Netherlands is over 16,000 kilometers, of which 14,000 kilometers consist of small local dikes and levees. Most of these have protected the land for hundreds of years. On August the 26th, 2003, a local dike in Vilnius collapsed as a result of drought. This event added yet another challenge to Dutch water management. It initiated a program of improvements for dike inspection. The visual inspection methodology was standardized by introducing the so-called inspection cycle, a workflow that continuously loops between the four phases observe, diagnose, prognose, and take action. The program also introduced a digital workflow. The software called Digispection, specially designed for use on field books, enables a scalable approach to visual inspection of dikes. During an emergency, visual inspection teams can be expanded rapidly, all using the same standard methodology, digital workflow and support. The program proved its effect in the very dry spring of 2011. All water managers were on high alert and the frequency of inspection was accelerated. The inspection cycle could easily be shifted to a higher gear and the digital workflow allowed for quick analysis of the observed data. Here in the Rotterdam region, the dikes consist mainly of peat covered with clay. Inspection is carried out in pairs and cracks and damage are entered digitally in the field book say Tonpex and Cor Loy from the local water authority Delfland. In the middle of May we started our drought inspections. With a number of teams from our dike watch, we inspected the dikes twice a week. Up to a certain amount of water shortage, we were still able to manage all inspections ourselves. However, when the third category of 120 kilometers of drought-sensitive dikes was added to the list, we had to call in help from our special dike watch and the permit inspectors to be able to inspect all dikes within one week. In the Utrecht area, most of the dikes are made out of clay, but they rest on a peat soil. Cracks form because the clay dries out. It takes special techniques to probe the dry clay and check the integrity of the dike structure. These dikes from Stichtse Rijnland, they can mark themselves vooral door the fact that the bovenlaag. Although they rest on a peat soil, most dikes in our region have a body that's made out of clay. That betekent dat het. This means that it's very unlikely for typical peat dike problems like the ones we saw in Vilnius to occur here, simply because the dikes consist of clay instead of peat. However, drought causes other problems that are associated with this type of dikes. For example, the soil can shrink. This causes longitudinal and transversal cracks to develop. Sometimes in combination with other problems, such as damage from grazing animals, pests and rodents, which can cause leakages. In the Leiden area, the Regional Water Board of Rhineland focuses on dikes that consist only of peat. These dikes are an impressive yet vulnerable part of the Dutch heritage. Here cracks can be visible on the surface, but also hidden deep inside the structure. During the extreme drought of 2011, the Rhineland Water Board formed a special emergency inspection team that consisted of 125 staff working in 25 teams of pairs, inspecting 10 kilometers of dike twice a week. Should the drought have continued until autumn, these teams would have had to be doubled. Luckily, the drought ended with an extremely wet summer. Dikes crack because they dry out, but there's always water in the so-called bosom, the channel elevated above the surrounding land. 
Special techniques have been developed to periodically spray the peat dikes with water, usually twice a week, in order to prevent excessive drying and damage. Although visual inspection is still the best method to ensure the stability of dikes, it's limited to here and now. By also collecting digital elevation data, an overview of the height and shape of a dike becomes available. This enables us to compare the various historic elevation data and gain a detailed insight in changes and behavior of a dike. Elevation maps like these help to pinpoint vulnerable locations that need additional visual inspection in the field. The future of dike inspection in the Netherlands is therefore built on three pillars. The visual inspection cycle, taking preventative measures, and continuous research and innovation.